Okay, so this is my first YouTube video ever. So a lot of you posted some questions in my TikTok, so I'll be answering those ones today. Um, I thought I would do it while I'm eating my Pokey Bowl from Pokey Pokey Mermaid because I absolutely love their Pokey Bowls. They're to die for, as you can see. Yum. Um, so I'll be eating and answering, sorry, not questioning, answering your questions um, that you have for me. Thought I'd do it while I am a bit of a cripple. Um, just had surgery on my foot. I can't walk at the moment at all on it. Um, I think I've got another week till I can try and walk on it. So yeah. Also please hop on my channel and subscribe. I will be posting um, more. Um, I'm thinking of doing more so like weekly vlogs or daily vlogs or all that fitness content. You just let me know what you want to see and we'll be posting it. So my first um, question is, where am I from? Um, they said, hi, where are you from? So I am from Australia, um, Queensland, and I am a Gold Coast girl. I wasn't born here. I was born in a country town called Miles. Um, lived in on the Gold Coast basically my whole life. But yeah, I had another question. Um, what's your height? I'm about 5'10". I'm positive I'm 5'10". But I'm 179 centimetres tall. Yeah. So next question is, how do you get um, your defined abs? Mm. So, look, genetics do play a big role. But yeah, basically I would say it's not like people always go, oh, like what's your ab routine and what's this? Like it is your diet and what you put into your body and improving your gut health and everything like that, putting the right nutrients and vitamins into your body. I can talk more on that, but yeah, that is how I do get a defined stomach. Um, I do put the right foods into my body. I do think about consciously what I'm eating and everything like that, but I don't track my macros um, at all. And yeah, tracking my new macros, yeah, it can get you that, obviously, but I find it more better for my mental health and everything like that not to track macros and more so to just improve what I'm eating and when I eat it and everything like that. So my next question is, what do I eat in a day? Funny. Okay, so this is not really a typical day of me eating. The only reason why I got Uber Eats um, is because I can't really cook for myself at the moment and um, I don't have any groceries because I can't go grocery shopping. I have to get them delivered because I I only have one foot to stand on this one. I can't even stand on yet. That's why I'm sitting on the ground. I had a dietitian, and she's amazing, but she's actually um, on an ocean ski going around show at the moment. She will be back soon, <laughs> but it's crazy. Um, so inspiring, but um, yeah, she was so great. She taught me how to not track macros because um, I used to track macros all the time um, and just feed yourself with the right nutrients, the right foods at the right times. Um, during the day. So basically, what I would eat in a day normally would be in the morning I'd wake up, I'd actually have, so I'd have some like gut health or like greens or something like that. At the moment I am using the True Protein Gut Health um, and that is linked in my link tree, in my bio on my TikTok and in my Instagram and stuff like that. I can link it in this as well. Um, I also then go into a coffee, always, always have a coffee in the morning. And for my breakfast, I have a smoothie bowl. I love my smoothie bowls like, so much. I have a smoothie bowl or I have my protein oats. So if you want, I can put these all in my link tree or like post the recipes and stuff. or make another video of me making them and show you guys. For lunch, um, it's usually salmon, um, veggies, lots of greens, like load up your veggies and stuff and spinach and then um, sometimes rice um, or pumpkin um, and then for dinner I'll have like sweet potato chicken or red meat because we've got to try and get our red meat in as um, women um, so I try and get my red meat in for my dinner um, yeah and then dessert I usually have like um, dark chocolate it's like the 80% or 90% lint dark chocolate I'll have like two squares and I'll have some like a little bit of nuts um, to get those good fats in or um, some berries or something like that to get the vitamin C in. 
But yeah, I can definitely make another video on what I eat in a day um, and post that. Okay, so another question is, um, are you fully sponsored to train and um, do you have a job or do you have a job? So yeah, I have a job. I obviously do like social media and stuff as well. I love to create content and like for you guys. Um, but I also have a job um, at a school um, and yeah, always wanting to work and stuff like that. I have to. I'm obviously can't train. Um, so yeah. And I can't really work either, so it's really hard at the moment. <laughs> so next one is, what made you pick um, track as your sport? So, um, I didn't really pick it. Well, I grew into it kind of thing. My mum put me into it as a young age. I did little acts, like little athletics. Um, that's the thing we do in Australia um, for athletics. And then I loved it and I was like good at it at a, as a young age and then I got put onto a coach. Um, um, yeah, I trained with him for a long time um, and he made me love the sport and the people I was surrounded with made me love the sport. And what I was doing made me love the sport. Doing it every day, like it just made me happy. Um, at the moment I am looking into different sports um, and stuff. Athletics, I've always loved it and I always will. I'll always do it. I love sprinting. I'm so sorry, this is so good. Um, ew, I don't have enough. So I have two questions here and it says, one of them is, have you ever been in a relationship? The other one is, do you have a boyfriend? And what on oh, is another one, opinions of boyfriends. Um, so I have been single um, basically my whole life until this year. Um, I met a boy, I do have a boyfriend. I've been with him for about two months, three months now, I think. Um, yeah, so opinions on boyfriends, they're the best, love them, so supportive. He's the best, I love him, and yeah. But yeah, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> okay, so next question is, growing up, who was your biggest role model? Um, so my biggest role model, growing up, would have to be Sally Pearson. Sally Pearson like, was such an inspiration to me when I was growing up. She was obviously achieving so much, um, being one of the best athletes in the world. Um, I got to train alongside her, watch her train and everything like that, which was amazing. Um, she's still such a great role model to me today, still such a great mentor to me today. Just her drive and her success and everything like that and the way she loves sport, even to this day, um, is why she's such a great role, role model to me. And yeah, love it a bit. So another question is, what's your weekly training split? So when I normally train, um, I will train about six days a week. So I go Monday, I'll do track, um, and then Tuesday gym, Wednesday track, Thursday I'll do pool running. Um, and some gym I do on Thursday as well. It's more so a lighter day. Um, and then we go on to Friday, which would be um, track in the morning and then gym in the afternoon. And then Saturday we do this big um, gym circuit um, on a Saturday morning. And then Sunday's my rest day. So I usually just take that off, you know, do what I want, relax and recover, which is a massive thing. Being an athlete, you need to recover. Oh my god. I've been eating this this whole time and there's like rice at the bottom and I haven't been eating it with the rice. What the hell? I'm such an idiot. I'm really sorry for the water in the background. There's like two fountains going. So it might be a bit annoying for this video, but that's okay. The big one that everyone asks me is what is my goals um, with sport? Um, I just put I have such a big drive to try and make like one of the Aussie teams and like at the moment it will be hard with athletics but um, I have looked into other sports as well um, which I'm really excited to try. So my biggest goal is to make an Australian team and be on a world stage and you know hopefully make the Olympics which is a big goal of mine. Um, yeah I'll do everything I can to make it there if I don't. 
that's that but I would love to and yeah I just love doing all of this fitness stuff and everything like that I love um, that I do inspire people every day and yeah I love taking people along with my journey so yeah thank you guys for always like being there for me and someone asked how do you how do you um, hide your bra strips under your sports bra? Well, I don't wear bras. Yeah, no, sorry. I'm a free baller. I don't wear bras. I never will. I could do wear bras, but I don't wear bras in my sports crop tops or anything like that. They're so annoying. I just get a smaller size and it's tight. Hold the boobs back. I don't really have any anyway. Um, but yeah, like. No need, don't want to, feels more comfortable that way. So yeah, to answer that question, don't wear a bra at all. So um, someone asked about recovery for my surgery. So at the moment I can't walk at all, I'm in a moon boot. I can't actually walk on it. I'm on crutches at the moment, which is really, really hard. Um, but yeah, um, next week, one more week of non-weight bearing, so I can't walk on it for another week. Then two weeks after that week, I week, I will be trying to walk on it and um, walk properly again. Um, obviously, managing the pain tolerance and stuff like that. If it's too sore, back to not walking on it. Um, if it's not sore, then keep walking on it and see how I go. Um, and then after that, I will see my surgeon again, see what the process is from there um, as to what I can do. It will be a longer recovery. I've obviously got to get it right. Um, show you um, a friend of that. They put a screw in it, they cut a bone off, they put holes in my navicular bone and everything like that because I kept getting stress injuries and I had a fracture in my foot as well. Um, so yeah, it was pretty big but um, it wasn't that bad. I just stayed in overnight and it hasn't been too sore at all. Um, but yeah, longer recovery and we'll get there. That is all I will be doing for today. Um, Thank you so much for tuning in and watching my first YouTube video ever. Um, please like, comment and subscribe on my channel. I will be posting more. Um, we'll see how this one goes. And yeah, if you guys like it, um, definitely we'll be doing weekly vlogs, daily vlogs, um, what I eat a day, my exercise, whatever you want. Comment below what you want to see. And yeah, I'll do it. So yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs>